As the humanitarian crisis deepens in Gaza, people there are growing more and more desperate by the hour. Over the weekend, Gazans were seen breaking into the United Nations aid warehouses, carrying supplies out over their shoulders. Some were grabbing flour, other essential items as well. The UN Palestinian Refugee Agency says residents are reaching their, quote, breaking point, and they are asking for more convoys with humanitarian supplies to regularly flow into Gaza. This is happening as Israeli forces expand that ground operation in northern Gaza. Joining me now live from Jerusalem is senior contributing editor of the Jewish News Syndicate, Caroline Glick. Caroline, thank you once again for being with us. I want to start with the aid warehouse being broken into uh, the UN aid warehouse for supplies. Can you talk more about the humanitarian situation right now? I think the main humanitarian situation is that Gaza, that in Gaza, Hamas is holding 238 hostages. It's actually 237. Uh, Israel was able to rescue one last night, and one uh, we found her skull, so that we know that she's dead. Um, and the other 238, including 30 children and 18 very elderly people over the age of 76, as well as women and men, are all being held hostage. Hamas released a hostage video of three women uh, as part of their psychological warfare campaign against Israel. Today, all of these women have spouses and children that are also with them in captivity. Um, so this is illegal. This is an atrocity. This is a crime against humanity. And Hamas also said, their leader, that uh, the job of the people, the civilians in Gaza, not just the hostages, is to die in order to cause the defeat of Israel. They use the civilians of Gaza as human shields. Uh, that they hide behind and they want maximum civilian casualties so that they can accuse Israel of the war crimes that they're perpetrating, not only against Israel, but against their own people. So the crime that we're seeing now, the suffering of the Palestinians in Gaza, is responsibility uh, of Hamas, not of anybody else. They are solely responsible for the suffering going on in Gaza and, of course, in Israel today, because they're the author of it all. There are concerns a ground invasion will make it more difficult to get the hostages out. What is the IDF saying about that? And actually, the uh, ground invasion uh, is going to um, is going to facilitate the rescue of the hostages. I think if you look at the hostage video that they released today, you can understand that what they're demanding, what the hostages said, was scripted. Obviously, Hamas had had the woman speaking. Uh, say precisely what her name is Daniela Loni and they're holding her and her small daughter she's a single mom and they had her say that that uh Israel must stop its ground invasion uh and let out all the terrorists in Israel's prisons and I think that and everybody has to watch the video so I think that just from her statement it's clear that Hamas wants the ground invasion to end and uh, that Israel mustn't release any of the terrorists that we're holding in our jails uh, I think that we have to understand that everything that they're demanding through the hostages uh, is exactly what Israel mustn't do. And everything that they say we must do is the opposite of what we must do in order to rescue uh, our people that are being held captive by these murderers. Uh, a few moments ago, I spoke with a man back here in the States whose daughter, her husband, and their five kids, she's an American citizen, the kids are American citizens, are in the southern part of Gaza, and they cannot get out. Can you share anything about efforts to um, help Americans and others of different nationalities out of the Rafah border crossing? Yeah, I think that here, too, the problem isn't Israel. The problem is Egypt, Egyptian President uh, Assisi, who receives billions of dollars in U.S. financial and military assistance every year, is refusing to allow even American citizens to traverse into Egyptian territory to reach uh, safety in a third uh, country. You know, uh, and and I think that the and that the finger has to be pointed at him first and foremost, and at Hamas because uh, uh, Sisi should be allowing them to cross the border. I understand there are several hundred American citizens who are waiting to to leave and that the Egyptians are pro prohibiting them from uh, from uh, uh, getting out of Gaza. Um, and the other thing that we have to realize, of course, is that uh, Assisi is also blocking the uh, humanitarian effort to protect the civilians in Gaza from uh, the ravages of war, because obviously, um, just as in Ukraine, you've had over a million Ukrainians leave 
Ukraine for the war and with the intent of going home when it's over. So that would be the expectation for the civilians in Gaza who want to get out of harm's way. But it's Sisi that's blocking them from doing so, not merely to getting into Egypt to shelter there where, where they would be safe. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.